Hello everyone, this is Kyron Dale. You just been known as Kai One One Zero here. Um, just got, just started getting into something. Godzilla. The four films I have are King Kong vs. Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Mecha, Mecha Godzilla Two, Godzilla Two Thousand, and Tokyo SOS. I also own a NECA Two Thousand Fourteen figure. I'll show that off later on. Um, this is going to be the second part of my five video uploading, so I can get at least somewhere back. Um, where to start? Well, let's start with one of the things I'm talking about, the dubs. Well, as anyone knows, as anyone knows, when you walk up a normal folk that doesn't like a franchise, I mean, this looks different because I adjust it to where it's... It's not so much low quality, it's so much to where it won't lag as much. So that's going to be the difference. So let's see, this this is a test. Um, so far it's not. Not going to win. But, anyways, if you go up to your person and you ask them, what do you think of the Godzilla moves? And they say, eh, you know, Godzilla's cool, but I can't watch them because the dialogue is crap. It's cheesy. Most of the time, those people are talking about the dubs. The ones to where Americans think that they know what their characters are saying, but they're not. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying all the dubs are bad. I mean, the King Kong vs. Godzilla 1 dubs are okay. The Godzilla 2001 2 is okay. Actually, that's, that's better than the King Kong vs. Godzilla 1. Um, well, normally, most of the time... Compared to anime, I believe they don't take time in finding the right people for it. They don't get any of the big known ones. They mostly stick to the more less known ones. I think what kind of helped was that the best voice actors has come out during during my generation. So maybe that probably didn't help as much to work back in the 90s. They didn't have a lot of people to work with. I mean, yeah, they could have got Sanshimo, but I don't think, but I don't think Funimation was doing Dragon Ball Z then. I, I believe during that time, I think it was the Ocean dub, if I'm correct. I'll probably do my research on that. So pretty much, you know. It's like I can see why people thought it was cheesy. I mean, I thought I mean I thought it was cheesy when I first saw it, but I think I'm wait. I want to check out the Japanese one. And to be honest, I like it better. It's a lot more natural sounding. I mean, a lot more natural sounding. I mean, I can understand if if a Japanese Godzilla movie has American characters played by American American actors, like in Godzilla vs. Mega Godzilla 2, and they and they needed somebody to teach them, you know, English dialogue. I can understand that, but here's the thing. It was not the English dub because most of the time when you watch a dub, they know they know them say Godzilla, like how we say it, not go. Um, oh, I used to say it. I think it's because I'm tired. Some words I can't pronounce right. Gold, gold Jira. Um, and I mentioned I watched his mouth. He was saying the English dialogue, and it was natural sounding. It didn't sound as forced or cheesy. So again, with some things, you gotta stick it to the original. Anime, that's more preference. With Godzilla movies, stick to the original. If you don't, if you want to give these movies a chance, try to watch the Japanese sub ones online if you can. If not. Um, go out, try to rent, try to rent a digital copy that has the scene selections, if possible, and then watch it with the Japanese version. If not, then don't focus on the characters, focus on the monster fights, because that's why people watch them anyways, is the monster fights. Um, so, pretty much, you know, it's like... You know, with, I said this multiple times, you know, with King Kong vs. Godzilla, I would like if, if Universal release a version to where one disc, it's the Americanized version, which is still good. I mean, I mean, 
I mean, I'm, I mean, I would still recommend it to a person that wants to get Godzilla. It's starting away. And I refuse to make these videos short. You know what? You all just gonna have to deal with it. If I do, I'll probably just record my audio of what I said during the edit. That skips over, and then I'll insert it during the part. It's like a voiceover. Um. So, pretty much, you know, I would like if they did that. With Godzilla 2000, the same thing. But, enough of that. Um. But, yeah, you know, Whorehound's gonna be coming around. I'm gonna be buying as much merch as I can of Godzilla or anything, uh, or any horror. Um. If I see any cool Godzilla figures there, possibly, then I'll pick it up. Um, I doubt it. I mean, I saw a Soros figure, but then again, sci-fi and horror has always went toe on toe. I know that people say, but Godzilla's a horror movie. Yes, it is a horror movie. But in, in the Showa universe, only the first four were, were pretty much horror, which is the original Goal, Goal, Jilla, slash, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, which I heard the dub, it's painful to watch, because they, they narrate over the movie, Godzilla Raise Again, slash, Guy, Gi, Gigantus, the Fire Monster, once again, America's thinking that they know everything about Godzilla, which, which in reality, I'm not sure if they meant that as as Godzilla's new name, or they just meant that for Angerus, but whatever. King Kong vs. Godzilla, and then Godzilla vs. Mothra. Then, then it became sci-fi. Pretty much. Um, so I can't wait for that. Um, Godzilla news. Gareth Edwards just announced Godzilla 2, which they pretty much already did that since he says that if if the box of does well does well there will be a sequel and it did do well i think to hold trusts him unlike the 98 film to where it just tanked i think it's raining right now huh but at comic con they announced that there's gonna be three kinds of monsters coming back which is kind of weird with 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 one of them which is Mothra, obviously, I mean, we all know that she would, we, she would make a comeback. She's a fan favorite anyways. Um, Keen, um, Keen Ghidorah, another fan favorite. Can't wait to see how they look. And then Rodon. What about Mechagodzilla? Unless they're saving him for the third movie or not going to use him, uh, use him at all. I hope Toho ends up making their own version of Godzilla movie afterwards. Put it a put it a part of the legendary franchise. Have Godzilla 2014 there, or something. Who knows? They might. They also kind of rights for King Kong, which is kind of interesting. They own King, they own Godzilla and King Kong currently. Mmm. Pacific Rim. Godzilla, King Kong, Pacific Rim Two, Godzilla Two. Could there be a Pacific Rim Godzilla and King Kong planning? It'll be interesting, to say the least, but, yeah, I hope I can get some more guys. So I've asked for, and then want to show off, which I'm proud of on. I know that, A, I know that ain't no X Plus, but you plan on getting one. The NECA 2014 Godzilla figure. Love this thing. This is my favorite look of Godzilla so far. Saw the movie, it gave me goosebumps. Every time I see clips on YouTube of, of some scenes, it's like, oh my god. I mean, of course, God, I mean, I mean, of course, God, Godzilla wasn't in it, but the movie was still enjoyable. Gareth Edwards knows how to make kaiju films. Americans, do you want to give Godzilla a chance? Check out the new one. It's worth it. But anyways, uh, this is Kai Remdo here. And I'll see you all later.